So hi everyone, uh, in this video we're gonna discuss something called the stationarity condition. In particular, we'll discuss that for uh, an autoregressive model, so for an ARP model. So uh, a desirable property of an autoregressive model is that the model should be stationary. So we talked about stationarity before, particularly weak stationarity, in that we said that this is a type of series which has a constant mean a constant uh, variance and uh, some value of constant autocovariance. Uh, the main reason why it's a desirable property is because if the model is non-stationary, the coefficients of the regression, in this case phi, okay, shall have a non-declining effect on the values of yt as time progresses. And ideally, that's not necessarily believable all the time. And it's harder to deal with that empirically. So to be able to test for stationarity, we generally check the roots of what we call the characteristic equation. So to explain this, uh, suppose let's use this um, form of the AR model. So this is it in lag operator notation. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to derive first the zero mean AR model. So this... Uh, this uh, form here in lag operator notation can be written something like this. So say you transpose this to the other side, you can write it in this manner in such a way that phi capital L is equal to this equation here. And this is what you call a characteristic equation, okay? But it's not uh, the equation yet of our interest. So there's a way for you to get from lag operator notation, this one, to this notation here. Now, a zero mean, okay, a zero mean AR process, AR process, so essentially all we're going to do is just we're going to omit the model intercept. We're just going to assume it's equal to zero. So we're left with a model that looks like phi L is equal to uh, mu, okay, uh, sorry, phi L is equal to ut rather, since you assume that mu was equal to zero. So phi L equal to ut again where phi l okay is equal to 1 minus l minus l squared minus l cubed minus dot 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 minus lp essentially if you recall this is how many times we're going to lag okay the value of yt okay and what we can do is uh we can what we can do uh sorry i forgot the yt here what we can do okay again to rewrite this okay in terms of yt, okay, uh, if we can write it in this form, so uh, yt, okay, just transposing phi l to the other side, that's just going to be equal to phi l inverse, okay, ut by matrix properties. Where what we do is we assume, okay, that phi l inverse, okay, times ut is converging to zero. So essentially, what this form here states is that the autocorrelations okay, will diminish eventually as the lag length is increased. What does that mean? So essentially, this part of the equation here is an MA infinity. So it's a moving average process with infinite roots. And if you try to boil it down, it's like AT times UT minus 1, uh, say A1, sorry, A2, UT minus 2, plus a3 ut minus 3 plus so on okay until a uh, a q ut minus q so this is supposedly what that process looks like on the right hand side of the equation and what that means is what we want okay what we want as uh, for a series to be stationary is that this coefficient here a1 is higher than a2 is higher than a3 is higher than so on so eventually, it uh, sort of diminishes as the lag length is increased. Well, does that make sense? Well, in most cases, yes, because say we want to forecast uh, a variable using an AR model, say GDP. The value of GDP today would heavily depend on the value of GDP yesterday or the time period before. It would also probably depend on the time period two periods ago, but not as much as it's related to the time period just one period ago. So there should be a diminishing effect seen on each lag, okay? And if we do this uh, in formal notation, okay, 
the characteristic equation. So the characteristic, the characteristic equation is given as, okay, so you'll notice it follows this form 1 minus phi 1z, okay, minus phi 2z squared, minus phi 3z cubed, minus dot dot dot, minus phi pzp equal to 0. So think of z as the number of flags, and p represents, since we're in an autoregressive process, that will be our process. And what we want is that, and that's something equal to 0. Essentially, what we do is the characteristic equation is what um, theta L is, I'm sorry, phi L is, is equated to zero. Now, by the stationarity condition, so by, by the stationarity condition, condition, it must be that the roots... all lie outside the unit circle. And it's just a fancy way of saying that all roots, say z is some root, okay, z must be greater than 1. Okay, So that's the condition. In order for a series to be considered stationary, all of these roots okay, must be greater than 1. And these roots determine the characteristics of the process that yt would take. Okay? In particular, the AR process okay, will depend on the roots of the characteristic equation. So, seems fluffy, I know, but let's start with an example. So, consider, okay, consider okay, an AR1 model, AR1. Okay? So, say, uh, again, 0 mean AR1, so yt is equal to, say, yt minus 1 plus ut, okay? We just assume here for the moment that uh, the coefficient of yt minus 1 is just uh, 1, okay? Again, in log order notation, we can write this as yt is equal to L yt plus ut. Remember, this is the first log, so it's as if the coefficient is 1. And what we can do is we can manipula uh, manipulate this and simplify. So that's yt minus okay, lyt is equal to ut. Similar to how we manipulated the sigma notation and the lag operator notation earlier. Then further simplifying, we have yt times 1 minus l equals ut. Okay. So if you solve for it, okay, again, we're just going to transform to z. Uh, to be formal, yt times 1 minus z is equal to ut, okay? And we have this one. This is our root, 1 minus z equal to 0. So that's the characteristic equation. Therefore, uh, z uh, is equal to, okay, 1 in this case. And since z is equal to 1, okay, z here is equal to 1, it is not. Uh, it is not outside the unit circle because remember our condition is that the root, okay, the root must be greater than one. But one is not greater than one. So, in this case, the AR one model, AR one model, is not stationary. So that AR1 model there is not stationary. So another example, so let's do another one. Okay, consider an AR2. So now let's give more defined values of uh, the coefficient. So let's have yt equal to 5, yt minus 1, minus 2.5, yt minus 2, plus ut. Then, uh, similarly, we can transpose, like we did before, 5t, uh, yt. Uh, in log order notation first, that's 5lyt minus 2.5l squared yt plus ut. Then, transposing yt minus 5lyt uh, plus 2.5l squared yt 
is equal to ut. So you can see a, a flow, a very similar process that we're doing. Then uh, factor out yt, yt, 1 minus uh, 5l plus 2.5l squared is equal to ut. So again, this is your characteristic equation. And uh, what we do is we set that to 0, 1 minus 5l plus 2.5l squared equal to 0. And if you get the roots of that, so solve for it, you will get z1, the first root, that's equal to 1.77. And you get z2 is equal to 0 0.23. Again, how do you solve for the roots? You can complete the square, factor out, or use the quadratic formula. I use the quadratic formula because if I don't know how to solve it, that solves it automatically when you know how the formula works. And since these are our two roots, notice that... Um, z1 okay is greater than 1 but z2 okay is less than 1 but our condition is that all roots should lie outside the unit circle that is all roots should be greater one, than 1 but since we have one root here that's not greater than 1 well the ar2 model model is also not stationary